glad I got a two terabyte hard drive because this should be eating up my space. I try, I try, man. I try. You have no idea how hard it is to make a video under five fucking minutes. No idea when you're talking about this shit. No fucking idea. <laughs> you guys are like Neo in the Matrix right now. Basically. And me and some others are like Morpheus. <laughs> Pretty much. You have a choice to take which pill you want to fucking take. The vast majority of people like the Matrix the way it is. They enjoy it. They want to stay there. Fine. But that's basically where you're at and what you're in. Everyone at this point has been manipulated by your live streamers. Every single person. I am nobody. I have no financial background. Um, I freelanced my own education with the stock market and everything just by doing normal research like you would. Didn't do it at an institution or anything. And if I was able to come up with, hey... I bet they can short ETFs. It's the only thing that they would be doing. Why there's so many ETFs housing this much AMC and or GME, blah, 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 um, which that was correct. And then, <laughs> like I said, uh, my brain started spinning before Lopix, wondering if they could sell off that shit because it did, it, that's just where that began. Then when Lopix popped up, I was like, oh my God. I was just like, wow, like, this, this was made, this was launched for an avenue for the shit to be shorted out of it. And then that fucking article, like, that confirmed what I was already thinking when the guy was like, yeah, it was an accident, we're going to get AMC out of there, it's going to be gone by August. And the article disappeared, and then here we are right after an earnings call, right around 13Fs, and it's gone. <laughs> I'm nobody. I just like uh, I just put pieces of a fucking puzzle together. That's it just from looking into shit. Like just from thinking about the stock on my own. No longer trusting these guys cuz they cost me a number with several zeros after it in profits. By trusting them, by listening to them and them only. And the more I looked into things, the more things just didn't appear to be what they said they were. Not even close. The, the most ridiculous manipulation that has happened in AMC stock is not ETFs, is not naked shorts. It is your YouTubers that you watch. It is 100% the most malicious manipulation I've ever seen. You got all this shit going on that no, no one... I'm. I'm the only person that thought of this. Me, I that that cannot be. That can't be. It just can't be. So that would seem to me that someone's going out of their way to suppress that, to make you think other dumb shit is going on. Trying to keep your attention held over here. Don't look behind that curtain. Look over here. Ah, I don't know. No, no, listen to me. This is the manipulation you're looking for. Right here. This is, this is it. Don't worry about what's over there. This is it. I promise you. Look. See? See? Liquidation. See? Crazy. I don't understand. I really don't. I don't... I just don't understand how you can keep watching these guys at this point. How? How? It has been months now. Months of them just being wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I do. I wish I could take all the losses. All the people that were in before June 2nd. All your losses you accrued by holding because they told you to and it was going to happen by the end of June. All the people that got in on June 2nd or afterward that have only seen red. I wish I could accrue just to, to even just get an estimate of all the losses and make a video on that. Maybe that, maybe that would shine some light on this community. Help you see a little clear that these guys are full of shit, all of them. And they have been for quite some time. 
and they are, they have basically turned into what the media outlets are today. They mimic the same exact thing now. They they all say the same thing, and if you question it, or you're even remotely close to right, do you see how quick Matt Coors? I think Scotty. I'm pretty sure you did a video. I think it was you. Um, with Coors and the ETS being brought up, and and him immediately shutting that down, immediately shutting that down, not even giving it a second thought about. Uh, <laughs> The many ETFs there are, not just the one, not just IWM or N, whichever one it was they were talking about. The many, the over 30 that there are that house AMC alone that could be shorted multiple ETFs to drive the price down, which they are. We know they are. Lopix popped up. Boom. Confirmed everything I thought. Here's this brand new ETF. <laughs> Way too much AMC in it for absolutely no reason. It's even advertised as a stock housing two to five dollar stocks. This bitch is at like forty dollars, <laughs> and it's the most. It has the most in it. The most. It was created to be shorted, and then immediately, just get it on out of there. Bye. That may have been the test. That may have been the sample size to see if they could get away with it. If they're, this may be brand, it probably is brand new. It's probably a brand new idea, which may be why no one's talking about it. Because it's probably never really been done before. It's never needed to be done, not to this scale. And that might have been a test right there. That might have literally been a test for them to see if they could do it, how well it worked, and then if they could get away with it, like getting rid of it, no one noticing and then return all their shorts for in that ETF, and there will be no price action movement, like none going up. So, I don't know, man. There's no really need more people. We need more people, like, just overall talking about this type of shit, looking at this type of stuff, thinking about it differently, questioning what is in front of you. You have to question it. If these motherfuckers tell you something, you need to say why. Why do you think that? Why are you telling me this? Do you have any proof? Where are you getting your information from? Why is this all like boxed out screenshots with no citations of anybody or anything to say where you got shit from? Why does half this shit look photoshopped? It's all grainy, has pixelation around the edges of the words, like someone stamped it on there. All your favorite YouTubers work for the media now. Whether you want to believe it or not, it's the fucking truth. That's why they're spitting the same things that they're spitting. Um, I guarantee they're all being paid by AMC. I know they're all being paid directly by AMC, which is why they were all in Kansas. It's the only fucking thing I can come up with. Um... They probably had some sort of meeting and agreement, and they're all a part of it, so it's a business deal with all of them there. Maybe they had to sign contracts in person with lawyers, whatnot. I don't fucking know, but uh, I know that they're all being paid by Adam Aaron, and they're making money from AMC, talking about AMC, and they're making money from YouTube. God only knows where else. But that's the only thing that could have transpired. Aside from my other theory that Adam Aaron is completely behind every bit of what has happened this year with AMC. And these kids were the tools he used to make this shit happen so that he could save the company. Um, that's just another long theory. That, uh, still needs some evidence to fully develop, but could have been that too. You know who has meetings like that? Meetings where everyone gathers in the same place where they... That's a, like if I had a vested interest in the fucking CIA, <laughs> for whatever reason, and so did six other people that I'd never met before, saw them on the internet, maybe talked to them through an email or something, and then all of a sudden we do a live stream outside in Langley, Virginia, all of us, and only like one person, act no one, actually no one lives in Virginia, I don't think any of them live in Kansas, no one lives in Virginia, but we're all just doing a live stream outside in Langley. And we're just like, yeah, we just decided to go to Langley, man. Fuck it. You know? We were like, yeah, I got time. You got time. Langley sounds good. Yeah. 
You know what's wild? I'm pretty sure in their little Kansas meeting, they did not one time mention AMC headquarters, which is there. I don't think in that whole little fucking sunroom powwow they had, no one was like, yeah, man, we're up in Kansas, home of the, the Silverback 8 four. Yeah, headquarters is right down the road, son. Like, don't you think that'd be a thing? Like, wouldn't that be part, if you were part of the community and you loved AMC and you was all about that, like, wouldn't you go, like, film it? Be like, yo, this is it. This is our, this is our fucking, uh, our temple here, our mosque, our church, AMC headquarters, man. Check it out. Like, wouldn't, wouldn't you do that? I would. Maybe it's just me, but I would. I'd think that my subscribers would want to see that. Don't you? No? Uh, a lot of weird shit, man. Just want to let you guys know that you are in the fucking matrix, the real one. Some people taking the blue pill, some people taking the red pill. That's how it's going. But the ones who have refused to live in the matrix, y'all need to neo it the fuck up. For real. Realize where you're at. Realize that you know Kung Fu and show me. All right. This shit has got to spread. It has to. It has to. I already told you. These, you're letting these guys fight your your fight. And they're losing it for you. And it looks pretty intentional from my side. These guys have the money that they wanted to get out of AMC. I promise you that. Every one of your favorite YouTubers has gotten a check from someone. Somewhere. That has made an equivalent of of more than what they initially even dreamed of making in AMC. I promise you that. Promise you that. They are completely fine. Just sitting here talking about the same shit over and over and over and over and over. And again, look at this. See, it's impossible. I can't fucking... I wish these bitches would let me mo man, this is so dumb. You have to have a thousand subs to be able to mobile live stream, man. Like what the fuck? Like that is the dumbest shit. That is so stupid. Doesn't make sense. <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna cut it off because it's not even close to five minutes. <clears throat> I'm just fucking <laughs> can't can't talk about it in five minutes, man. Uh, you, got, you have to reiterate shit. You do. You have to reiterate it for people to really let it sink in. These fuck faces have been and are continuing to manipulate you all. They are just manipulating the shit out of you. Not even asking for your permission. No consent. Just straight manipulating you. Stop letting them do it. 